Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the Markor 45 backpack from Vanquist. And I want to tell you as we start off here, that over the years I've used a lot of different backpacks uh, out in the woods. And I'm talking about like full-size backpacks for like extended times um, out in the wilderness. And I've used ones that are more kind of tactically inclined, like this bag. And then I've used ones that are more um, really like built for backpacking, like something from Osprey or you know, like some of the other brands out there that lean more towards just like traditional backpacking. Out of all the packs, this one has become my top and my favorite, um, my favorite bag. I've got different companies that I like for different style bags, like sling bags versus messenger bags versus smaller backpacks versus really small sling bags, you know. Um, and, and I've got lots of different companies I like in the different categories, but when it comes to a full-size wilderness backpacking backpack, this one is at the top for me. So the Markor 45, again, by VanQuest, it's gonna come in three different colors. You can get it in tan, black, or gray. Obviously, this is the tan version. And um, for me, when I think about a, a bag that I'm gonna use for extended backpacking, I need a lot of storage. I want places to attach gear on the outside. It's gotta be comfortable for me to carry, and just the overall construction has to be high. And so for me, like, um, I got this bag for review, but even in the past, when I wasn't doing reviews, I don't mind investing more money in a bag if I'm gonna be out in the woods for a long time. Because I mean, if I'm hiking for miles and miles, I don't want to be getting hot spots and having soreness because of the pack. So invest the money up front and you'll be happy long term. And I think this is a bag that will fall into that category for you like it has for me. So it's called the Markor 45 because it is a 45 liter bag. Uh, it is about six pounds with nothing in it. And then obviously the more gear you put in it, the more it's going to weigh. Got a thousand D Cordura on the uh, on the bottom and then 500 all over. A thousand on the bottom because that's where you rest in the bag. It's gonna get beat up more often. And then 500 around because it'll just reduce the weight as opposed to a thousand everywhere on the bag. As far as your measurements, you're looking at 28 inches by 15 by 8.5. And I've used this in a variety of different settings from like car camping to like just stuffing it with a ton of gear and headed out into the woods. So, um, so yeah, I've, I've used this in a, in a bunch of different ways and has functioned well in all the tests I've put it through. So let me talk about some of the outside features here. Um, you can see we've got the lightweight molly here on the outside, that laser cut molly, so you can attach, you know, like a um, maybe a med kit or something like that if you want to on the outside or other gear. And then you've got elastic here to put gear in, and then you've got their beaver tail system, so you can run something through here, and then it rests on the beaver tail right here. You cinch it in nice and tight, and you're good to go. You can also see they have these cool clips here um, you can readjust them for size, but you can put uh, trekking poles in there. You can put an ice climbing axe. You can put an axe in there. Um, we do have loops here on the bottom to run, you know, like an ice axe or other gear like that through. Um, and then the kind of the main feature on the outside here is that you have what they call their dam, their durable arms management system. All right, so I've unclipped the two sides and basically this is going to fall open like this. You can see I've got a little hook there that I've hooked the left and the right sides together. And now you can see what I could do is I could put the stock of a rifle here, run it up like this, and on this webbing, just put a couple more attachments, and now I can run a very large rifle on my pack. You could do that with a bow, you could do it with other basically long gear that you might be carrying out in the woods. So that's a really cool feature. As you can see, this is on the, this is, you know, basically it's dropped down, and we've got this molly webbing here. So even if you don't want to use what they call the beaver dam, which is durable arms management system. So you've got the beaver tail and the beaver dam. Um, you can attach other gear here and then just put this back up and then just clip the, clip the uh, two side clips back in. So immediately you can see lots of way to, ways to attach gear and carry gear. Uh, webbing on the side, laser cut molly on the side, laser cut molly on the side. Got some webbing there and then you've got this whole system. I also want to show you that you can see there's more there as well. So you can attach gear here and then on the inside of it you can attach gear as well. So a lot of ways to organize and uh, attach gear and carry gear out in the woods. Let me undo the, uh, the beaver dam system real quick. And then also show you at the bottom here of this, there's hook and loop, and you can actually fit a sappy plate in there. You can also fit ma a map in there. You can fit other gear that you want in there as well. So immediately you can tell tons of ways to store and organize gear. Let me clip these back on here real quick. Now down on the bottom of the bag here, you can see we've got attachment points with more molly. These are really nicely stitched in so you can you know, put a bedroll or something like that. And then we've got this zippered pocket here, which high vis orange inside. I'm gonna show you that, high vis orange. And you can put, I mean, if you can cram a, back, a um, sleeping bag in there, you could do that. 
Again, if you're like hiking and you've got like wet sneakers, wet boots, and you want to carry them, boom, you could put those in there as well. Maybe you've got, you know, some just gear that's soaking wet because you're out in the rain. Now you can stuff it in there and carry it down there in a nice controlled way. So, um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's basically the back panel. Let's look at the top here. You've got storage on the top, great for a med kit right there. And then this zipper here, you're gonna have another way to access into another larger pocket so you can store more gear in there. That's where I always keep like an extra fleece, hat, gloves, stuff like that when I'm out in the winter. Get hot hiking, I wanna take it off, just throw it in there versus you know get taking the whole pack apart. It's a nice place to store gear. I, I, I dropped down this entire system to show you basically what the main compartment looks like. So you've got a zipper system here, goes all the way around and zips down really far. So that zips down to drop down like this. I'll show you this section in a minute. But right now you can see we've got a, uh, a panel there. It's got hook and loop here and then on the sides as well. So you can attach more gear there. You can, uh, this section in here, just want to show you that there is actually an internal frame that gives a little bit more structure, which for a big bag like this, that's a major win for me. I gotta, gotta have a little bit more stability and structure. Here we have a place where you can attach your hydration bladder. And then you can see these are the clips that you're going to use on the outside with the dam system, durable arms management system. So you can attach gear on the inside and organize it. You can attach on the outside and organize it. Uh, if you have smaller VanQuest pouches, you can attach them here to keep your gear organized. And then obviously again, high vis orange. So when you're looking in your pack, you can see everything that's there. All right, swinging it around to the other side. I showed you the access pocket, like the larger access pocket on the top. Now you can access that. Basically, it's a pass through. So you have access when the pack is not off your back, and then when it's off your back, you can get into that section obviously as well. You've got a, a see-through pocket here and a larger see-through pocket there as well. So I mean, as you can tell, just a ton of ways to organize your gear. When I first started getting into backpacking years ago, it was all about um, small stuff sacks that you would put different pieces of gear in and then put it in your bag. But as te the technology has advanced and the organization has advanced, now you can store gear actually in the pack. It's built in already, which I just love. Again, if you watch my channel, you know I'm all about keeping your gear organized um, when it's in packs. So this is, again, you can tell why I really like this pack because there's lots of organization that's being offered. I'll show you the back section here. Um, you got a big grab handle here if you need to you know, take it out of a car or move it around in camp. You've got a pull forward system for your, uh, for your hip belt or your waist belt. So rather than pulling it back like this, once, it's, once you have it uh, all set up, you're gonna pull this forward, which is generally just an easier way to do it. Hook and loop, so when you're done adjusting it and setting it up, you can control the extra piece of webbing. Obviously that's on both sides here. You got a little retention loops here, so if you wanna put your hydration hose from the hydration bladder on your right side or left side, that's fine right there and there. Um, got these pull forward supports that'll help it, you know, get it adjusted nice and snug to your back or looser, depending on how you want it. Uh, and then as you can see, very generous padding here and then on the straps as well. You can see here, we've got these basically like eight different, uh, very durable pieces of webbing so you can adjust your, um, the shoulder straps up and down depending on the size of your torso. Again, which is awesome because if you buy this for you and then you give it to somebody, lend it to somebody, it's gonna work fine. They just need to set it up properly. We do have um, water bottle carriers on both the right and the left hand side as well. Also to note, there are side grab handles. There's one here and then one here as well. So if you guys watch my channel, you know I've got two kids and uh, my daughter was actually sick today. I had to go get her from school because I think she may have strep throat. So I was hoping to do this video earlier in the day, but as you can see, it's evening time because the sun is fading off there in the distance, giving us some interesting shadows. But uh, bottom line, I want to let you know about this pack because I've had this for the better part of probably, I mean, I don't want to say a year, but probably eight months. And it is a great pack. Definitely a major thumbs up for me. Um, as you can see, lots of ways to store store gear, carry gear, organize gear. Um, if you're somebody who's looking for the latest lightweight, you know, featherweight type of material, this is not it. It's just not built to be that. But if you're somebody who does backpacking, backcountry hunting, whether it's you know archery, whether it's with a rifle, whatever it is, maybe you go way back off into the backcountry and do a lot of target shooting. Well, this thing will work for all that. And then also, you know, for if you're more, you do backcountry hiking and camping and stuff in the winter and you want to carry your ice axes trekking poles stuff like that snowshoes this is a major win for carrying pretty large snowshoes as well it's not just a tiny little uh, section you can carry some big gear so yeah i mean there's a lot of wins when it comes to this pack and being able to use it out in the outdoors so uh price point 289 at the time of this video which is the end of our middle of march 2019 so um that is definitely an investment i had a buddy who had a 
backpack that he bought years ago. It was a Dana design, which you may remember from years ago, but he spent upwards of $400. So for less than 300 to get this, and VanQuest has awesome customer service, uh, I definitely wanna encourage you to check this out. If you're looking for a full-size backpack for the backcountry, um, you wanna carry a lot of gear, you wanna have a lot of organization, this is one I would definitely encourage you guys to check out. As you see this video, if you have questions about the Mark Hoare, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to know, what, what details you want, uh, what more information you want. And if I can't answer it, I will pass on the information or the questions to VanQuest and tell them to comment in the, uh, in the comment section as well. Hey, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Bureau as well. More videos coming soon. Take care. Oh, golly.